they don't know you. Oh, come on. They, like, they, if damn, they, they don't know, know you. They're going to get to know me because I'm on your channel. How you just bombard somebody's channel like that? She Let is. me introduce you. That's how you it works. You take it too long. they like, who is but this But this, this is my channel. All right, you want to start over? get started today's video we will be talking about the unattractive dark-skinned girl or that's what folks like to think because <laughs> I'm juicy fruity honey anyways this is the bestie feline finally I get introduced after like five minutes you gotta wait <laughs> like, like this, this is my family we oh, have to I'm talk sorry. first she's disrespectful you see this is but why I only have people on my no, channel because no, they don't know Long, you gotta wait. How much time should a person wait before you they gotta get introduce? You know, she's a rapper, son. She got bars, you. kid. Yo, yo, yo. Anyways, <laughs> we have a channel together. I don't know the name of that channel, but I'll put it in the because I feel like we gotta change the name. But it's in the I'll put it in the description box below. We also have an Instagram chat uh, page called Embrace underscore Blue with no E, mm -hmm. and we also have Embrace Your Queendom. That's it, right? I don't always agree with Azealia Banks. She's a Gemini. I stand hard for my Geminis. <laughs> but sometimes <laughs> Olio be saying things that you don't have no business saying. But what she was saying wasn't wrong. It's because of who was saying it. Because she steady trolling people. Because mm -hmm. what she's basically saying is, yo, if a person, for instance, my complexion, because I'm dark, Fee is light skin. If a person in my situation would be acting that way, we would be called a hood rat. We would be called no, no, not, not knowledgeable, all kind of wrong things. But when somebody who's of the lighter persuasion and you know what I'm saying, more appeasing to society's eyes does things, they kind of get away with it. And that's, I mean, is the truth. I mean, you can't you can't deny what's really the truth. I mean, if somebody else said it, people probably would be like, hmm. But we don't know that. It, you, it's like you can't say everybody. That's how everybody is treating dark skinned women. Like I I understand that there is a stigma against dark skinned women, but sometimes I feel, and I'm not saying you. Sometimes I feel like some of those women have a personal vendetta against light-skinned women just because we are light-skinned and you feel like we're more privileged which I am not I'm on the same level as everyone else and I don't think that I'm better than you because my light my skin is lighter than yours like we we're women like that's a excuse my language but that's the shit I just don't understand like we already got enough problems in our own community and now we got this light skin versus dark skin like I get it I get it like, people don't always show love and respect to dark-skinned women. But to attack people who aren't even disrespecting dark-skinned women and showing love. And, like, I feel like sometimes some dark-skinned women, they generalize, like, light-skinned women act like we act like we're better than y'all. Well, I that was a topic of discussion. Mm -hmm. Today was about uh, dark skin versus, versus light skin. And that's why I put in the title dark-skinned women are unattractive because it seems it's a, and we are gonna go back and forth with this because clearly you see our <laughs> tones are different yeah. so we see life in a sense a different way we're still women at the end of the day so we have like things we could uh, uh, react to the same yeah. way but we also have things that are not it's not the same mm -hmm. for instance me and Fee could be our body shapes are kind of the same but like we're curvy like a little waist and stuff like that kind of the same i mean we're not identical but it's kind of the same outline right fee is light skin i'm dark we both have locks we both have nose rings right we both kind of like hippie-ish with like our jewelry and shit like that you feel me Fee is more relaxed, suavemente, <laughs> and I'm like 
caliente, like spicy, all in your face. But I have my moments where I'm like, fee, we're yin and yang in that sense, mm -hmm. right? We walk down the street in the same outfit, right? And I guarantee, I guarantee, oh, yeah. look, 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 <laughs> already. I haven't even said anything. <laughs> on her face already, y'all. I guarantee. There'll be 10 dudes walking uh, by, nah. and there'll be one that'll be like, yo, ma, what up? And he talking no. to me, but every one of them is looking at no, this one. No, no. Or if we go to a model cast call, right? They will look at her complexion because society has deemed that Fee's complexion will be more stimulating for the rest of the world than me. I'm saying that this doesn't happen. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying I don't have to accept that that's what it is and neither do you. Like you don't have to sit here and say that my skin tone is more visually pleasing or No, no, no. No, or... I don't I don't think that's the case. I'm saying that that's what's put out there. Me, I feel like me and you are equal. Yeah, like I joke are. I joke around with you like all the time about that, but you know I'm joking. Mm -hmm. Cuz I don't see that as a threat if I'm walking with a light skin girl like, "Oh, I'm not as popping as her." I know I'm popping. Mm -hmm. I use cocoa butter. <laughs> like yeah. I'm popping. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying what like realistically how I see things is not like how everybody else see things. Mm -hmm. I wish that I could like ch change the conversation up and change people's uh, bit. like I guess by having these conversations you slowly get people to realize what they're doing. Like for instance, black men will some black men have said that they would rather go for a person your your shade color or even to as far as white then they would go for a dark skin girl because they feel as though mo we're uneducated or we have attitudes or we hood radish and that's another thing probably hey tiger lilies listen so you made it this far your mind as well just hit the subscribe button and while you're at it click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos because you know sometimes your girl be going mia okay back to the video bye just because they're not dating a black woman doesn't mean that they have an issue with black women. I mean, you're attracted to who you're attracted to. I don't think it really matters who a person should date as long as they're not out here blatantly disrespecting a black woman. Like, why can't you still have love for black women and then still date who you want to date? That's like you, let's say you date a white guy, but you still, you saying you love your black kings and all that, but you just happen to be attracted to a white guy. So what does that... It's like that freaking show on Netflix where they found out the girl was dating that white guy. I can't remember the damn name of the show. Um, the second season just came out. But they found out she was a, she was dating a white guy and then basically everybody had an issue with her. It's like, you like who you like. That shouldn't take away the fact that you still have love for where you come from, for your culture. For but your why community. can't... But don't you think it goes a little deeper with some people who cannot like, who never seem to like their own people? Well, they like everybody else but their own people? Yeah, then that's another issue. That's just you having an issue with black people. I honestly feel that it is a problem out there. Because, and yes, I agree with you when you were talking about how... Um, dark skinned girls see things in the media and whatnot and they feed off of that and then take it out on their sister yes that's true but you also shouldn't take away from how it makes one feel because society out there is making dark skinned girls like myself feel like we're not beautiful enough or we can't, and it goes even deeper, like we can't rock certain colors because it won't look good on us. We can't do this, we can't do that. Oh, if you're with a dark skinned girl, you better be careful of her attitude. When white girls can be just as reckless but my question, as us. My question is, I fully understand that. But when are people going to stop letting society influence how they think and what they do? Like, I get the whole dark skin, light skin issue. Like, it's a real thing. 
I'm not taking that away from you. And I understand it's about what we see on TV, what we hear, da 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 society, society is to blame. But we have control over what we choose to believe and think and how we're going to live our lives and what we're going to choose to wear, how we're going to represent ourselves. That's true. And as a, a community of women, whether you light skin or dark skin, like we have the power to be our own voices. That's true. And if you don't like what how society is portraying, it don't matter if you're light skin, dark skin, black, female, whatever. If you don't like the way the society is portraying your culture, then you have the power to change that. That's you, know, true. you know, nobody should be sitting up here getting brainwashed and thinking this is just it. And it's like I fully understand where you're coming from and how you would feel. No, I can't personally relate to that because obviously I'm light skinned. But at the same time, I wonder do dark skinned women stop to think how they make light skinned women feel? And when do light skinned women Wait, hold on. start Let to me think? Talk. Let me finish though. Because me being a light skinned woman and having a friend that's dark skinned and knowing that you feel this way and hearing you speak about it, it does make me feel some type of way. Not towards you, it just makes me angry because you feel this way and you shouldn't feel this way. Because you are my equal, we are women, we are both just as powerful as one another, we both have a voice that needs to be heard, and we both deserve to be respected in the same way. True. So it's like when I do encounter those women that look at me some type of way because of what society has put into their head, it's like, I understand how you feel, but you're not taking into consideration how you making me feel when you're bashing me because of something society has put into your head that you've allowed yourself to accept and make you feel some type of way and stop you from living fully as a dark-skinned woman. I'm not stopping you from living in your truth. I'm not stopping you. You from... personally aren't. You personally aren't. And it's good to know that there are some women out there who think like you, mm -hmm. right? But be real, there are some who think like they shit don't stink. Yeah, and because true. they have, they're different as far as complexion mm -hmm. goes. Like they could get everything handed to them in a silver platter. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said there's a conversation that I'm glad we're having because we equally love each other. We see each other as equals. You feel what I'm saying? This is my sister. But there's some people out there who don't, on my end, Mm -hmm. will look at a light-skinned girl off the rip and be like, ugh. Yeah, exactly. And then there'll be a light-skinned girl mm -hmm. off the end will look at a dark-skinned girl and be like, yo, that ain't competition. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 good to have people like us mm -hmm. who bring this kind of energy energy and situation and conversations to the forefront right. so people can sit down and actually have this dialect and kind of break down these barriers so this doesn't happen anymore. And then you could sit down personally on your own and sit down and think, like, what Shay if you was saying... Excuse me, do people, am I actually acting like that to yeah. somebody else? Mm -hmm. So it's good to like, to just to sit down and reflect. Mm -hmm. uh, anyways, guys, um, that was a really riveting Heavy. conversation. Yeah. On this locks and lituation. What did you guys, what do you guys think of colorism? Do you think that there's really an issue between dark skin and light skin versus light skin girls. Do you think light skin girls are more attractive than dark skin girls, vice versa? What do you do you think light skin girls get ahead more than dark skin? Whatever it is, leave comments in the comment box below. Tiger Lily Squad, you know we be down there talking. Mm -hmm. So let me know what you guys think. And yeah, I mean, this is something we gotta talk about, Definitely. folks. Definitely. Got to talk about it. It's uncomfortable, but this is what we gotta do. It's a step forward. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like if you enjoy seeing this beautiful face. Go on all her social <laughs> medias. I'll put them right here and in the, the, the description box below. Go follow her, show some love and i'll show you love back anyways guys i love you guys so much for watching see you later tiger lily uh, crash course let me have the money in the dashboard
Max Mad, could you lost the brick inside the